Hello, welcome back to the spider's web. And this time, these fellows are getting the, the treatment. These are the Drow House Guard. There we go. So, what do we do first? Um, I can't remember. Anybody any ideas? Oh, go on then. Dawnstone. <laughs> and we'll get these chaps her done. We get all the hair covered and then once we've done that we can start on the highlighting of the flesh, stone, flesh tones which is you know easy enough you've seen it done time and time again um, that's them done I've done that because I'm going to get the flag the, the fang On there with a friend at the Dawnstone, and there we go. First off we want to highlight the ears. And forehead. There we go. I think that's all there is for flesh on these two characters. It's just just the face. I think what I'm doing is I'm just I'm just going to do a dry brush over the face, then we can go over with um, the black wash later to fill in any of the um, any of the recesses there we go Oops. now what I want to do next is using Abaddon Black is go over some of the clothing I don't want to make it so that he's wearing, wearing metallic armour I want to try and make it so that they're wearing something different. So I'll add some black to the mix we've just done. A touch more black because I want to change the flavour of the colour altogether. And have some Dawnstone. Not as much Dawnstone as I wanted to use. So we're trying to, I just want to try and get rid of some of the blue. Not all of it, but I just want to make it less blue and more grey. And I said, I want to make. Some of these, I don't want to make it all metallic because I think sometimes that can ruin 
the figure completely all metallic armor and I'm going to go over the leggings or the legs with a different shade of grey I'm going to be using some metallic colours on this but not a great deal um, I don't necessarily like a lot of the metallic colours for armour I know there's a, a train of thought that you can, no, there's a style of painting for these figures um, which is non-metallic metallics but I've never got the hang really of those it's where you use normal paints to give the effect of metallic paints and it's all to do with wet blending and such but as I say it's a bit too a bit too technical a bit too um, what's the word I'm looking for I just can't believe that's dried up already. Never mind, I've got them done. That second one's not quite as done, not quite as bright as the other, but it doesn't matter. It will look different anyway. Um, the next thing I want to do is using the Dawnstone. I'm going to use just that and a spot of black. A spot more black because I didn't use a big enough spot of black. In fact, more black. I say I just want to use. I just want to make this slightly different color. As I say, I want. I'm trying to use different ideas for these. I'm going to add in just a spot of the scorpion green just to see how that looks make it a greeny grey or a grey green it looks an interesting colour there's one we might go with for the legs and we just as usual any of that was covered up if it was I apologise um, I just want something different for these I'm sick of using the same metallic colours for um so I'm going to use these very muted, subtle grey colours. Let's see if these bring out anything different in the model itself. In fact, I won't do that though. I'll actually go over the top of this one in the green. Just to be different. I will be using the scorpion green again on this one. I'm wondering if you can work out where. <laughs> it may be obvious. It may be very, very obvious. I'm not exactly saying where, but I may. Um, I may just use it. <laughs> Okay, so that's that one done, and again, I'm going to use. I'm just going to clean my brush off to get rid of that greeny colour, and we're going to use again the Dawnstone. I 
and as you can see I'm going over other colours that's on the palette doesn't matter at this point because they're all dry so you can go over other palettes you don't just because you've used um, you've used colours on your palettes and they've dried up doesn't mean to say they can't carry on using the palettes it just means that you've actually got something underneath it rather than um, clear now then I've used like a bluish colour, I've used a greenish colour, what can I use this time? Um, let's try best to go flesh just for a just for a giggle <laughs> I don't know if it's going to make any difference it's going to make it quite a strange little colour I say we just want muted colours and this is going for this man's legs and again as I said earlier we're going to be washing over all of this in the black in the non oil so any areas that we haven't quite covered or we cover too much of um, we can uh, sort out later with the wash and there we go I'm not saying I'm going to, not going to use um, metallics on this. There are a few places where I've been over now with this these greys. Then I'm going to do some fine work, fine detailed work with um, metallics. And I'm going to actually start off with the metallics now because I want to get the um, sword done and some of the armour. So, sword, pommel, on the blade, some blade. I want to do that elbow guard, uh, that. Um, shoulder guard I want to do that elbow guard and that shoulder guard so when you're doing the tin bits like I'm doing now you use or you cover all of it because this is the colour that you're going to be using as you know as a base coat for the metallics it's not um, we're not using it in this way as an actual highlight colour put the highlights on it's, it's a base colour so you can put the highlights on top of it um, okay there you go with him Fact, I've just seen something that I might be that might look better. In fact, it will look better. It's uh, it's a necklace. I'm going to add um, gold, well the thingy there, and I'm going to also do this part here. I'm doing this so it, can, it will give me um, a reminder of what's going to be what I want metal. So if I do again the same here, and I do that, shoulder guards, elbow guards, and knee guards. I'm 
There we go. No, it's just I haven't done the bus with his leg. And that's done. Very nearly. Very, very nearly. job is with the oh bolt gun metal Ta -da, remember him now we'll go over the um the blade of the sword blop 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 I didn't do that in the uh, tin bits Never mind, it'll just be another difference. And I also want to go over this as well. Finally, for this, I want to go over the handle of the sword with oh, Hashut Copper. There we go. You've seen all these colours before, which is why I'm just going through them now. Um, telling you what they are rather than show you all the time because you've, I've used them so many times on these. Uh, figures that you should know which um, DDD which core I'm using. There we go, and I'll use that's up there for the necklace. There we go, as you can see, and finally. For this stage anyway, it's the obligatory wash. And I want to do this before I do anything else. Because the next step after this is going to be um, it's going to be a very bright colours. And I don't want them muted by the black. So let's
There you go, there's one done. And the other one done. As I said, when I come back to finish this off, it will there will be some fine detail work to do. Which means which is what I couldn't do. Um, if I was going to wash it, if you know, with washing it, I didn't want to do the fine detail work because it would have ruined it. I'm going to put a wash over, so there we go. That's them so far. So it's just a case of waiting, as I said, for those to dry, and then I'll be back to finish it. Looks as though these have dried. So, what I'm going to do now is first of all using a rinse to add some grey and we're going to just pick out the highlight details from the front armour can be done as well in the hut. I'm going to say I'll do these as well in hoping that uh, it won't fill in all the um, <coughs> all the gaps in between and I think that oops, will be that for this I'll do these parts here as well. And the same on this side. this fella exactly the same again there we go that's that bit done we want another couple of pieces to do here uh, first of all with Runefang steel we have that and that and the same on the other side oops and that one and you'll see what I'm doing there shortly and the next thing is the scorpion green
There we go. Sorry, I was so concentrating on what I was doing, I forgot about speaking then. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got the this, this spider done in the scorpion green. Um, I'm going to do a different colour altogether for the next scorpion shield. Sorry, I've got another colour for the next spider shield, not scorpion shield. I've done scorpion green on the scorpion shield. But now, so I've got a scorpion. Oh, I'm tired. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. I'm tired. I'm absolutely exhausted. <laughs> so that's scorpion green on one spider shield. And now, on the other spider shield, I'm going to be doing when I can find it in my little pot here. I found it. <laughs> it wasn't in my tub. Ice blue. I forgot we used that for something else, didn't we, earlier in the week. I'm going to use ice blue for the other spider shield. Oh dear. This has been a week I will be glad to be over with. That's gone well. I'll have to just go over parts of that in black. But hey, you can see where I'm going with it. There we go. I can see why I wanted to get the black wash done first because those colours are quite vivid. So I'm going to use the black and go over certain parts of this just to tidy it up a touch. doing a great job on it I just don't want any of the the blue showing on the main part of the shield I just want that for the for the spider and I think that looks pretty good from there we are done next Very simple job. First one, Soltec Green. And finally for these, oh, not quite finally actually, I haven't gone back over the hair, but uh, blood red. And that's for the amulet, that little stone there. Okay, so now finally for these, it's just 
with a slightly bigger brush and the white scar we go over the hair just as a dry brush there we are and there we have the two house guards in all the armored glory <laughs> There you go. So until next time, take care, God bless, and bye for now.